How's it going everybody? It's been a while since I put out a video. Can't fly outside because of the weather. So instead I have started messing with this thing called Project Mockingbird. Uh, this is something that was done by Patrick J. Clark and it is a replication of the Inductrix FPV flight controller tuning. I have three different Tiny Whoops right now. Um, all three of them are rocking Beta FPV flight controllers and they all three are on Beta Flight 3.2.4. They all are rocking the full Mockingbird setup except I didn't do the um, different profiles for the rates. Um, I'll explain why in a few minutes but first I want to touch on one other thing and that is motors. So I have two 7mm builds and um, at first I was flying the stock E11 with the stock frame and the stock motors but for some reason the motors or and or the frame sounded like it was rattling. Um, I thought the props might be hitting the ducks or something along those lines, but really it was just that the motors that came with the E11 weren't very good. Either they were starting to go bad or that's just how they sound, which to me is horrible. <laughs> it definitely sounded um, much different than my other two whoops which flew a lot smoother um, and they also sounded a lot smoother. Once I switched out the stock motors for beta FPV motors, the noise went away and the whoop flew a lot smoother. I used to have a pretty sweet setup here in my studio, but I took that down. I haven't really been flying tiny whoops very much like I did last year. But I started getting back into it a few days ago. Um, I started rocking this Mockingjay, or Mockingjay, oh my god, Mockingbird, and it is outstanding. All right, so let's quickly run through this course I've set up here in the studio, and then we'll jump over to the FPV.
legit. The Mockingbird definitely is an awesome setup, especially on my 7mm builds. Another thing that I talked about in the beginning was about how I uh, didn't create the different rate profiles and that is because I mainly just wanted to fly in angle mode for this video so I only set those and I actually set my rates very similar so when I was flying around uh, the first few times I had put this on there um, it felt a little bit different than I'm used to um, and when I put my rates which are very close just slightly different um, it felt a little bit better to me just because I'm probably used to them but I really think this is uh, an awesome project I definitely give Mockingbird two thumbs up and uh, I will be adding it to all of my whoops and hopefully uh, moving forward, it'll get even more locked in as Betaflight advances. Both my 7mm builds are using Beta FPV boards, and the one that I was saying felt the best is actually using the newest version 1.1 Beta FPV board. So, uh, whatever they've done there definitely seems to make it feel a bit more locked in. But um, this one also is slightly lighter than this one, so that could have something to do with it as well. Happy flying, everybody. Whoop on. <laughs> <laughs>